to hear it. So, uh, yeah, I just drive, drive people around, find people out, like, such a new or like, staff and stuff, so it's pretty cool. But, you know, you got your early mornings, and so this is one of them, and it's great because I can just come back and go straight into uh, some dodgeball. Absolutely. And that's some, uh, some referee problems here. Run into the uh, equipment. Yep. Not seen to get his bearings. Yep. And and that's the reason why we had these goalie nets. And, uh, you guys to keep that though. Absolutely. This will be an interesting matchup. Uh, as the first game of the day, JMU looking to go out there and really make a statement for the first DCDC against UVA. Exactly. UVA is uh, they're a good team. They are. They are. They're they're definitely been um, improving. Um, year in and year out, this is probably one of their best. Ooh. 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 Better catch. Oh, my goodness. He made that a little too easy. And a good out by yeah. Joel. And out and catch. Joel, I mean, so I saw him a couple on a couple of lists for the underrated players, and I think they have him way too long. Agreed. I, I think anyone that can touch him is a big kill by Joel. So they're just taking him back to the right. Agree. I, I do believe they have him way, way too low. Joe should be much, much higher on the list, in my humble opinion. I mean, if it wasn't for Hunter Stewart, I'd say he has. Huh? It's 23.08. Yeah, tw about two minutes right now. Two minutes? Okay. Yeah. That's going too much. Another big out. I mean, just like that, UVA's, we're just over two minutes in this game. We have five people left for UVA. Exactly. So how was the ride up here? Uh, you uh, came up this morning? Huh? Came up this morning? Yeah, I did. Ooh, what just happened? They're making local recording. Yikes. That's kind of weird. Sorry about that, guys. I think Trent should take take somebody on one-on-one -on -one here. That uh, uh, should not be a foul. It should not. Good catch by Patrick Schwab. I mean, Jamie's already got four catches in this first point here. And just like that, UVA's on the 10 count. That, that was quick, man. I mean, we're three, we're three minutes into this. That's, I mean, that's it. That's a quick offense from Jamie, you know, you can't. That looks like it was ground, yep. That's a good call. Good call by Maryland. Not normally known for uh, making good calls in these games. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, nothing. My God, dude. I cannot take you anywhere. Well, don't worry. You're coming to me. You're right. You're right. Here we go. There's one for me right here. And Joel's out. Yeah. Yep. I don't think that's going to matter too much. I don't think so. I'd really just like to see Jamie put this first point away in the first five minutes here, though. I think they're going to put it less than four, to be honest. I hope so, because there's a missed catch by Nick Foss going through a high one. You don't see that too often. You do. And now there's three straight players for uh, Jamie to go down here. And they're still in firm control of this game, but... Good team throw. Knocks his glasses off and his hat off. Jesus. That's dark. That is terrible. So who do we got left? We got uh, the jersey numbers on here. Another good team throw, getting Holmes out. Big hit from Jeremy Cheeseburger. Dang, Cheeseburger. I always call him Cheeseburger. 
Can't go wrong. It's more fun. Can't go wrong with cheese, but really can. Almost a good catch there by a spectator. A very high and away throw from uh, Wyndham White. Team throw in the corner, no good. UBA's got six balls. It's a good out. A good out. They're going to get President Eli Villarreal out. Jamie's got seven. It's a 7 v. 2. They're looking to just handle this first point. And Jamie down to six. Good team throw. Oh. Sean called for a catch for the wrong team. Yeah, he did. <laughs> called for the catch for the wrong team there. That, that he did. Huh? That he did. It's uh, this is five v two here. Got another good team throw. Patrick Schwab and Jeremy Cheesebro. Really, another team throw. Yeah. Oh, another catch. And Patrick Schwab goes down, and it's a two v four now. What, we were at what a twelve v twelve v five, and now it's a two v four. Number eighteen, Avalon. Sorry if I'm sorry if I'm butchering last name. Oh, good toe tap, and now, all right, one v. So 1v3. That's, that's we got Cheech, Jack Mercer, and CJ versus number 15, Joseph Beauchamp. Some good throws here from Joseph. He got caught early in the point, but did say earlier. Was, was a pretty good throw. I'm not sure if JMU's got the best arms in the court right now, but they're going to get the good team throw out and take the 1-0 lead. Oh shoot! Yeah. Uh, Probably like 19 minutes. Yeah. So. Uh, 17:54. Yeah, we have the accurate time. Yeah. So Jamie goes up 1-0 there. I know you're working on all this stuff, Sheet, and uh, I think you should just keep working on it so I can just talk through it. <laughs> yeah, but, go for it, man. Yeah, Jamie's gonna go up 1-0 there. However, UVA has shown a lot of resilience in that point. They were down very early and. Uh, they were able to bring it back to a 1v3, but the team throws, it looks like JMU's been practicing their team throws because that was the most consistent I've ever seen them kind of go through that. But some good catches by uh, Avalone. I'm going to have to figure out his last name, how to pronounce it, because I don't want to butcher that the whole day if he's going to keep doing that. True, true. Cameras in the corner. Wow. Yeah. This is uh, this is good stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, it's always, you know, always trying to get better. Always trying to get better. Always trying to improve. Yeah. You know, just trying to give the audience something. I think this is pretty good. Pretty good. Early throw from Eli Villarreal. It's a miss. UVA is going to look to try and not go down too early off the starts, but there's a big out from Trent in the left corner over there. Yeah. Jamie did a good job catching early in that point, and then maybe probably went for a few things that they normally wouldn't just to try and really take it to Ooh, him. That's a kill. That takes a uh, house order and that change. Joel's calling for put him on. He's a little bit caught out. Throw is not going to hit. Yeah. But Jamie really looking to be on the front foot here. Another big throw. Big catch. Taking out Jeremy, Jeremy Cheesebro. Dang. It's, uh, it could be a back and forth battle. Another big out for UVA. So did you leave to come up here this morning? Um, no, I came here last night, actually. Yeah. 
Did, uh, did Patrick Schwab let you in the end? He did. He did. He really helped me out, man. Pat, Patrick, Patrick Schwab, man, been coming through in the clutch for you guys, man. I really appreciate him. Really making my life a lot more easier. Oh, it seems like, you I know, mean, he had a... That's definitely helpful considering all the things I'm looking at and all the things you brought. It is, uh, I would never be able to do what you're doing right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is. I have no idea what's going on in your screen. <laughs> um, right now, I'm just trying to... You got a two terabyte USB part forward not ejecting properly? Come on, Shadid. I, I don't it's know. two terabytes. You don't want to lose that stuff. I'm not trying <laughs> to lose anything, man. It's just... Uh, reset. UVA ready. JMU ready. Dodgeball. No yeah, idea what just happened right there. Um, me neither. Don't. You're doing great, Connor. I don't know what's happening, but. Good block by Sean. What a good throw by Bochy. He could be someone to look out for in UVA. He's got a, he's got a pretty good arm here on the left, left side. Team throw is not going to connect. It's not. Not none of that one. Good out, good throw by Trent. And Joel's gonna. Ooh, he looks like he's ready to take some of his head off there. Eli in the middle, big out. Maybe they were a little too high, but. To take that on the left, Joel, another big out. This is the JMU that we're accustomed to seeing against UVA. It's yeah. kind of just been the history of this matchup. It's just JMU really kind of taking it to him. Yeah, it's it's pretty much just been uh, one-sided, pretty much. I mean, like, JMU never lost. Like, do, do you, like UVA never beat JMU. I, I don't think so. And I, I think and I might be wrong because I definitely have these stats. But I think JMU is like on a either 12 or 13 game winning streak against the Hoos. And the way how things are looking, you might as well make that 14 at this point. I don't want to uh, hear an announcer's jinx here. Uh, I, I, <laughs> you're, you're going for it. No, no, no. Oh, I understand. Wow. And that's another kill for my man Joe, number 12. That is a good throw. Making it look too easy. Yeah, if they and the Jamie plays like this with their their guys on the right and the left, Joel and Trent, if they can just take down the corners little by little, throw from the right in the middle. I mean, and I know it's been about a month and a half, but you know, as you was mentioning earlier, JMU in terms of their communication is so much better. Team catch, team catch right there. All right, Eli's still in. It's, you got them now. It's, it's so much better than what I saw at Beast, and they was actually and they were solid at Beast too. So that's. They're definitely moving in the right direction for sure. They have definitely come out strong here. They are looking to prove a point. A missed catch, but good low throw, I think, really was what did it there for Trent. And so if Trent can keep his throws low today and minimize the throwing catches, he it's going to be really tough. Cross, good cross there from uh, Brady Holmes taking out Sean Kelly. Yep. Yep, there it is. There's a team catch. I was just about to say, they UVA still has guys in that can make plays. They do. They do. And there's another catch <laughs> by Joseph Beauchamp. Here it comes. Here they come. I don't know if I've ever seen a guy, but I, I, I'm telling you, from what I've seen so far in the first two points, that guy could be an X Factor. And just like that, it is a seven on four for UVA. Looking to tie it up early 1-1. One, one. Good waste throw by Patrick Schwab. Still a couple of catches. In for JMU to make a play. They need to make a play. They need a catch. Definitely need a catch right UBA now. UVA is going to have to work the clock because Jamie's on a 10 count. So if they can work the clock to get balls back in their advantage and start team throwing against these good catchers on JMU. Yeah. You do not want to solo throw Pat, any of these guys. No, probably. no. I do not want to solo throw against Swab. I don't want to solo throw against Floss. Um, just, I, I definitely don't want a solo throw against Ryan. We got at least three solid catchers in this on the team, like right now, mm -hmm. that they can do some serious damage. They just need an opportunity. That's really all that they need. The big thing here, though, for 
JMU is they're going to have to figure out a way to get outs because some of the best arms are on the outline right now. Tyson Schwab's got a good arm. They have good arms, but not known to be guys that are can constantly throwing, really making those outs. A lot more waist throws, counters. So let's see if they can play smart. Yeah. Find a way to stay in this point. Yeah. Good waste by Nick there. But I, I like UVA to take this point. If I'm unbiased, it, it, it really feels like a UVA point. I mean, it's definitely a UVA momentum point for sure. But they got man advantage and they're controlling the pace. Mm -hmm. And they got their captains in here. Did that? Did not hit them. Interesting. They do not like that call. No. I didn't think it hit him, but. Oh, but that. Oh, and that. Is that a team catch? Man, okay. From UVA. Okay. So everything's just kind of remaining the same right now. Team throw from UVA takes out Patrick Schwab. It's just like that 7v3. One play left. Two guys left. Oh, two guys. My apologies. Not a problem. It could be one guy here pretty soon. UVA is methodically taking them down. They're taking out their two better catchers in the point there with good team throws. Oh, drop catch by Holmes. He needed that one. They need to keep. They they needed him in there. He has been pivotal in this point, but we're 15 right here in front of us. True. I got a feeling that we're gonna see something on this team throw. Let's let's watch this ball. Oh, nope. that clipped him. One play left to read, and it's Ryan. So can you switch all the cameras on here and everything whenever you want? Yep. Or, yep. Okay. That's, that's, that's why it took me a little bit longer to get set up. Um, and that's why I was kind of fooling around a little bit earlier. But, yes, I can pretty much switch any camera that I want at will and be, like, instantaneous. So... It's a good no pinch waist throw there. It was. <laughs> and here comes the team throw, and he's going to miss it in 1 1. Man, hate to see it. 1 1, Jamie UVA. After Jamie came out strong, I mean, it was it was really just UVA kind of dealing with that early pressure and then keeping it at their pace. Yeah. Balls. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It was just pretty much just having their ways. Yes. So I think it's really. Oh, I mean, after seeing these first two points, it looks like the anyone's last turn. Oh, Jeez. big, big out there. That was crazy. Sean does not like that. He does not, man. Not at all. He, he, hitting the chest that close does not feel good. No, he, he definitely feels some type of way, as he should. He definitely feels some type of way, my friend. Big throw. Nothing hitting. Nothing, man. Throws there for UDA. They are down to two ball, three balls, three balls. So it's still the shot clock. Jamie needs to look to take advantage of this. They have ball control. They have the arms to do it. Just cannot throw catches. Exactly. And and that's really the biggest thing right there. Like as long as they don't throw catches, which probably means ooh that didn't that did not hit him. Oh wait 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 it did it oh. did he called he called him out. Is he calling him out? He's like, call, he calling yeah, him out. Yeah, yep. The ref calling him out. Yep. I, I thought the yep. It did hit him. Wow. Yep. Ooh! That is a big headshot, but a great, great catch Man. on the team throw. Man, that's. Whew. I mean, that's. That that's a momentum switcher right there. Dep I, depending upon who's going to take the momentum. Honestly, yeah. Uh, because it's a great catch, but it's a great headshot and kind of. So who who went out off that one? That was a. Uh, Cheese again. 
but it seems like in today's NCDA, there are a lot of just super massive arms no. that we've seen in the past. No. Uh, that really, like, I mean, it feels uncatchable. Yeah. But so today, it's like, you know, people can throw hard, but these guys are getting so good at catching that it doesn't matter. And White goes down that is chain. Good kill right there by number 23, Eli Gravella. Much needed kill. Captain on Captain Crime right there. It's a good off body throw, making him rich. Yeah. Very, very tall. So, you know, go for his weakness. Yeah. Make him stretch. Good reset throw right there by Trent Schaefer. Trying to get UVA backpedaling right there. Transition show from Joel. Not going to connect. Big missed catch there from Trent. You hate I, you hate I, to see I, I it. It looks like one of those ones where he thought it was coming faster than it was and ends up being a change up and it's just like goes through. He just times it, doesn't time it well. I'm telling you, man, them changeups, man, is a problem. Man. I really think they are. You really got to change your grip on the dodgeball. Indeed. You can't just throw fastballs all the time. People are going to start getting, getting used to it. Exactly. But normally you'd expect Trent to come up with something like that. Mm -hmm. All right, throw right there by Eli. Just try to... Get the ball back. So. Yep, get the ball back. Just yep. like that, UDA's only got two, so Jamie really needs a, a team throw here. They do. They're going to right. They're gonna they're gonna hit Bo Champ. They'll get all the balls back here. Man, no one got hit on that. Nobody got hit. Another team throw in the corner. Ooh, got him. out. Got him. They just need to go one by one down the side here. Because UVA's still only got two balls. Still still no shot clock. Got team throw on the left there. Another out. And these balls just keep coming back. Yeah. It's only three for UVA. They got five guys remaining. We've seen this before, and they've kept it close. But once again, Jamie really executing the team throws. Yeah, and uh, I mean that's their bread and butter right there. Good reset by Eli. Gets the ball back. Yep. Do a reset throw to kind of get his team settled in, and then allow either the left side or the right side to coordinate a team throw. Mm -hmm. So now nah, that's that's really good right there. And they're gonna throw a solo one. Ah, of course. That ball's behind them. They should take advantage of this right now. <laughs> they only have two balls. That's what I'm saying. Throwing at someone without it. Because UVA don't have a clock right now. Well, technically they do have a clock. Got him. Oh, that is a good throw by Joel. They're waiting for that ball to go by. 16 looked away for a split second. It smacks off his hands. Yup, it's not the first throw. It's usually good catch by throw. Nick Foss. He cannot throw with that guy. He is literally just sitting on the, on the line waiting for that. Uh, I mean, he basically just baited UVA to throw it out. And they wasn't paying attention. Well, maybe they was. They just got a little. Ooh, oh, a great transition team throw. That is, that's, we have not seen stuff like that out of JMU. They were able to get that on the fly. Oh, big another catch. big catch, Ravelin. Big catch right there. I'm, I'm telling you, I gotta know, I gotta know how to say his name because he's just gonna keep doing this. I mean, if only they had the numbers on the front and the back. So I know, I know it's Eric Avalon. Yeah, uh, that's number, what his number says. It's, it's, it's on the back 18. of his shirt. So. It's his number 18. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you're right. I it would be a lot easier, and then some of these names don't have numbers, so I apologize. Team for watching the stream, make a good play, and I have no idea who you are. Three remaining for UVA. Three balls. Jamie's still looking strong. Team throw on the left. They're making UVA work, Again. not giving them an inch right now. They need to make a good team throw on that one. That's what they're trying. They're going to throw four of them. They're going to get most of them back here, but nothing connects. And there is Daniel Fana with the cup. With the cup. It's a cup. Uh, Maryland probably won't be keeping that for too long um, once the day is over. It, so. You know, it's funny that you say that because White made a whole joke saying, yeah, that pre up probably the only time that Maryland has a cup. <laughs> I'm like, yo, relax. Man, that cup is beautiful, though. Oh, they're going to put the uh, put the cup right there. Do I get this? Do I honorarily get this? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, hold on. Oh, big huh? shot. Really? This thing's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a nice cup. Don't worry. After this point, we're going to show you what the cup looks like in person. Yeah, unless I drop it first. I know. Can you drink out of this? Um, you can 
I'm, sh I'm sure Jamie's got something they brought if they went up there in this thing and the cup. I, I, oh, so we already just going to say that Jamie's going to win this? That's what you're No, no, me? I'm sa I said if they if they win this. I said if they win this. Okay, they they I'm, probably I'm, brought something that they can put in the cup and drink out of. Them. Another catch by number 18. My man had just been putting on a catching clinic. Can we catch you? I, I don't think you can throw at him. Even... <laughs> All right, the first test of the uh, the hockey nets or the soccer nets. The hockey nets are coming through. They're going to hold up. They're going to hold up. All right, look like a uh, stop at the clock. So they got 344 on the clock. All right. All right, so we got 218 on our end, but we can change it to 344. I don't really mind. I don't know if the clock's right. I think our clock's more right than theirs is. But it, it probably is. We can run they do. I mean, regardless, whoever scores this point, you know, that time is going to be roll over to the second half, so it's all, it's all good. We do got ourselves a little bit of a break, so let's go ahead and put that camera on the cup real quick. Go ahead and this thing. go ahead and show the oh, – look, look at this. Oh, man, that's, that is You can kind of see it under the, the yeah. hockey goal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of stuff that's going on. but Pretty, that is, pretty nice. Um, yeah, Maryland just brought this thing in, so uh, that's, uh, that's an interesting one. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Uh, yeah, they're going to – they said the board sent it to them. I don't know why they'd send it to them. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I really hope Maryland does well. <laughs> I hope – you know, I hope they, they shut me up and they can, uh, they can get a few wins. Oh, man. Uh, there's only four teams here, so, you know, I'm sure each team has to feel like they have a chance. Every team has a chance. If we learn anything from March Madness, every team has a chance. I mean, for instance, there were some people, and I don't know why, but they were talking about Wisconsin's going to beat JMU in a, in a tournament. And I'm like, listen, I got the Dukes beating Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. And sure enough, man, JMU came through for your boy. Haven't heard anything from Wisconsin since. So nope. That's, nope. that's a kill. Their, their dodgeball team's been really quiet. <laughs> the dodgeball team that they don't have has been oh, really quiet. No oh, one said anything. Oh, man. The lack of chill continues. <laughs> I mean, they should get a team out there. I mean, gosh, they could have a whole Big Ten I think matchup. That's, I think that's round. I think he's safe. It, it looks like he hit off the ball. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think he's safe. It, Did it, they call him safe? Yeah, he, he should be fine. It, 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 it looked bad. I mean, it looked like it hit him, but it didn't. 69 still in. Team throw. Oh, now Good. that. Team throw. Did he just? Now that. Gosh, he just got dumb piece to go. That definitely hit him. I, I can confirm. That's two times in the same game. And a long time oh, drop. A man. drop by Jared House. And it's seven on one. But it is the guy. Number 18, Eric Avalon. He has made a lot of big catches today. Not bad. Oh, 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 oh. over. Jackson's going to go for it. It's going to hit ground. Is he still I safe? don't think that's smart. I, that almost felt like a bait. Hey, single throw at me. I fell over. He's going to have to keep making these long throws. Jamie's going to have to. They're probably their best throws to sit on this line. Team throw. They're going to get him a couple times in the head. But, you know, that was another great play for him. That and was. That was a brutal headshot right there. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to have to. Minute 57 remaining. Rolling it over to the second half. All right, cool. 2 1 JMU. Looking strong, but UVA. Is not out of this by any stretch. Not, not at all, man. Not yeah. at all. We, we're just getting started this tournament too. It really looks like that if UVA can just kind of hold off JMU for that initial first two minutes of the point, they can kind of grind it out. They're a good catching team. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. You know, a lot of people, you know, they're probably watching this. They're probably a little shocked. They're like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" Like. Is UVA really this good? I mean, like, you got to remember, UVA did take Ohio to overtime, if I'm not mistaken, at the Beast. Mm -hmm. and, th and that was not easy for them. You know, like, th like they've been playing some really close points against their opponents. You know, they play, you know, a little bit of a faster pace um, than Maryland, you know, so that, that kind of helps them out. You know, they got some athletes on there. As you was mentioning earlier, they got some they got some solid catchers. Like they they gonna make you work. I mean, if you gonna beat them, you know, it ain't gonna be like it was in the past where you can just walk. You know, we, you can just dog walk them. Mm -hmm. you, you won't have to work. So, and they're young. They're young. They're only gonna get more 
out of each game. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's the thing, man. Like youth, youth, it's a it's a it's a factor, and you know, every, every year, you know, they they get young talent coming through. The the question for them, more than anything else, is um, can they just have people to stay committed? Because the problem is not like getting talent. The the problem is it's like, hey, like, can you just um, can you just retain? Mm-hmm. So that's 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 the thing right there. I think that's a big problem with uh, kind of all over the league with yeah. trying to get people to one join the club. Yep. And then two, once you joined, and then for a big club like JMU, they have a lot of guys that are competing for an 18 spot. And so let's say you join the club. You got a couple tournaments. You think you're right on the edge. You just keep keep getting that B team slot. Keep yep. getting that B team spot. And you're like, man, I don't know. Like, what? Like, what do I have to do? Pretty much. And then, well, and then it's like, all right, well, do I keep showing up to practice? Keep trying. Does it? Am I gonna make the team? No, I didn't make it again. All right, well then, you know what? I think I'm gonna do something else. And I think the one thing that's good about JMU is that they have a lot of people. So that if there are people like that, they're like, oh, I don't know if I want to keep showing up. They can. They still have guys to fill the spots. Exactly. But other schools, um, you know, from this roster that UVA has, it looks like they got 14 guys they brought with them. Um, and so, you know, it, 14 guys. Jamie's got 18. Is, is a home tur- tournament for them. But I don't know how many people have UVA have in the club. Uh, I don't know how many people Maryland have in the club. I mean, you can see Towson. Uh, they were a pretty decent sized club a couple years ago. Yeah, when they, they're not even a team anymore. They're not. They're not even a team anymore, man. So it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, like, but you know, historically, you know, GMU has always been able, at least for the East Coast, I mean, arguably for the league, but definitely the East Coast, at least forty plus members that are committed. Y'all have fun. Y'all take road trips. Mm-hmm. Y'all go to, you know, I forgot what that thing called right up the street with all the wonderful dogs and whatnot. I mean, like, you know, like the dog shelter. We what, did that? You, you, we, the, I, the, I remember doing that freshman year, I think. Uh, you so, don't, you no. don't remember? Um, um, I remember doing that eight years ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay, Evan, you're really showing your age right now. I'm trying to trying to show the audience how how wonderful Harrisonburg is you know with the JMU football JMU basketball you know making some noise obviously you guys have a great softball team soccer has been booming mm-hmm. like it's it's listen if you are a sports fanatic in Harrisburg Virginia it's a great time to be a dude oh yeah that's what you know oh yeah and the dog shelters we have great dog shelters yes that's too. what I was trying to I, I, I'm not sure what we <laughs> The, all the dogs, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, we are the Duke dogs. Okay, is that what you're saying? Yes. Oh, oh, we, oh yes. we, So we go and pet ourselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what you're saying now. Sorry. I, I, it was lost on me the first time. Oh, my around. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but no, you're so right. I mean, I was, yeah, it's, gosh, JMU is really kind of taking a, an upwards turn uh, since they joined the Sun Belt with all, all sports. I mean, and dodgeball's not out of there either you know I, lo- I know a lot of people that uh are really looking for that dodgeball scholarship we only give out one a year um to every to to one lucky one one lucky recruit oh man um yeah it's about five dollars of scholarship money <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because that scholarship money goes straight to your dues so <laughs> you just oh, end up man. losing it but yeah i mean they're, they're this uh it's it's a good time to be a jamie right now it is it is a good time to be a jamie and that's why i am leaving uh, <laughs> that's you know. That's I think it's it's because I left. It's, it's probably the big reason. Oh man, that's funny. That is funny. But yeah, but as we was mentioning earlier, you know, here is, you know, there's a better look at it. Yeah, a better look at it. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at the East Coast Dodgers World Cup trophy. Nice trophy. You know, Lee definitely came through in the clutch for the East Coast, so, you know, big appreciation for that. So are they going to, like, do an inscription on it or anything, or where they can, like... You know what? JMU 2024, Maryland 2029. Yeah, I mean, we got plenty of space for it, so, yeah. Yeah, we got got space, so, 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much been what, what I've been seeing as of late any time that, um, you know, you see a, a trophy like this, um, you know, that's what the space is for. Um, because um, the Michigan Dodgeball Cup, they've been doing that since who knows when. Um, the Ohio Dodgeball Cup, not so much because the like, trophy's really small. But, yeah, we, we can start doing that for – I mean, it makes sense it's a small trophy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ohio doesn't deserve anything good, so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm that's 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 how you're gonna treat I'm uh, joking. some of our fellow counterparts that took the time to no. come to the beast tournament. Ohio's the region to beat right now. They are uh, they are the region to beat. I mean, Cincinnati is Ohio State still the number one team because Cincinnati got didn't they get kind of uh, if Ohio State number screwed one. over a little bit. <sighs> yeah, they they win ODC and then they're still not number one. Isn't that wasn't that the Some, something the, with the power rankings? You know, I, I I'm not really I don't do power rankings. Yeah, you know. Whoever does those, you know, they should probably just quit their job. Oh my God. They need to get kicked off. They need to start vetting these people that they let on the uh, content creation team. Oh man, that's that's crazy. That's, I mean, you're telling me, yeah, we got they got, went through the whole thing. They got Joel at three, and then a lot of them didn't even have him on there. And it's like, dude. This guy isn't even talked about. And he's it up, one of Jamie's best players. Jamie's a top five team. And I know there are a lot of other people around the league that are massively underrated because there's just, I mean, we don't get, they don't get what the East Coast gets when you're coming here and you have three cameras watching the game, one of the cameras watching the announcers. You got this incredible setup where people can go back and look at everything. I mean, if you are switching cameras left and right, you can see every part of someone's game. Uh, and so a lot of these places, they don't get you, right? And and so they don't they don't get that opportunity to really be on camera and kind of be shown around the league that these place gets when you're showing up to these. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know like we had, um, ooh, that's yeah, another, another great team. Throw. Another great team kill right there by Danny. Good job right there by Chiefo and Chaper. This is taking a, out number 69 in that change. This is a good left side duo here. If they can just stay in and just go down this line with some good team throws, it's going to be tough to stop them. Agreed. And they're looking to set up another one here, it looks like. I think Trent might go for this. It needs to be a good way, Trent. Right. Great kill right, right there by Eli, taking out number nine on that exchange from the UVA. Team draw, I think they're going after Holmes. That, that is a smart one. They need to be smart here, so you've seen them make catches on the team throws. Team throw right. Never mind to go against number 15. I mean, and team now they get left. left. Boom, they are just going back and forth. These team throws have looked impressive. Yeah, I mean, like we were saying earlier, when JMU can get their team throw situated on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, I mean, it's... It's, it's going to be a long 50 minutes for oh, yeah. their opponent. Especially when UVA looks like they were doing a good job catching. So it's really important to have good team throws because it kind of nullifies any great catcher. You got three balls coming at you and they're all going to hit you. Team throw right. It looks like he's clipped his hair. You call him safe. He's safe. Well, I'm going to call him safe. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, my God. That was almost unbelievable. Wow. I don't, they're going to call a timeout and discuss this. That yes. was crazy. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't just think I've never seen that. What just happened? I've never seen that. <laughs> See, this is where having replay would be amazing. That would be the next thing that we will implement. Live decision. I know Nick might not like this. I think he didn't have. It didn't look like he had complete possession of the ball. That was great. Um, but you could also argue he did have complete possession of the ball and then passed it back to his teammate. So, Because I was trying to figure out why is Nick Floss is like on UVA side? <laughs> like, I was I was slightly confused. And then that's pretty much what happened. So It was a hand catch and then steps on the line but throws it back to his teammate. Uh, they're calling for a clock stoppage, but our referees over here, they don't they don't know what's going on. So 
they're looking at me like I'm supposed to do something. I'm just supposed to hold the trophy and then make fun of other teams, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one way of looking that's at it. That's what you brought me in here for. You knew that going into it. You're like, uh-oh. I, I mean, I brought you in as a commentator, but yeah. you want to do what you got to do. Well, I'm the color commentator. I'm pretty sure you're play-by-play, so I think I'm allowed to. I'm supposed to give my uh, thoughts and opinions on everything, that is no very, matter how much I know. That is very true. All right, so. So, so what's the call here? Um, still discussing. This needs to be like the NBA where they walk over to the announcers and they, they tell you what's going on. Otherwise, you know, everyone at home is just like, oh, what's, what's happening? I mean, I can. Yeah, it was 24-43. Yeah. But. As it's still discussing. Now we're doing instant replay with UVA reenacting it. So we are getting instant replay. This is a VAR right here, but it's going to be <laughs> the UVA drama department uh, putting on a show. So, yeah, they're, they're no longer the UVA Dodgeball Club. They're the UVA Drama Club. And we get to see how good they are at acting. acting. So. And we've lost Shadidi's going over to the camera on the right. The rule is a catch. That is... Uh, That was an incredible catch. Someone's got to submit that to the top 10 plays. Jamie, you ready? UVA ready? Dodgeball. Right, so it looks like it's an 11 on 6 for JMU. Good reset. Wall ball. And Eli in the middle. Let's see. Let's see if Jamie can just get through this point. Nice and easy. Long throw. UVA in the right. Nothing. Oh, no shape. Yeah, shape is still good. It was close, though. It was. That's why I was like, ooh, wait a minute. Nah, he's still good. Throw. Got him. Nice kill on this left side. Nope. I mean, they are executing well. They are going to have to continue that throughout the day. A lot of times between games here. I don't know how that works for. I, personally, not a big. Oh, big great catch. catch. That's a great catch on Joel. Big catch. That is a big out. Much needed. Trying to see his number. Trent's saying, why are we not throwing two? That's a great question. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. All right, 16. You know, I, I appreciate the honesty right there when I was 16, you know, taking this out. Yeah, you don't see that too often. No, we, we really don't. Ooh! Good cross throw. Man, man. Eli Rivera goes down that chain. That was a good cross right there. Four players yet for UVA. Gonna set up another team throw on the left here. I mean, these guys have been tactical with their team throws. So I would not be surprised to see another one. A couple of throws there, not gonna connect. No. UVA is not looking good, but they're not out of this point yet. We've seen them here before. We've seen them make a couple of good catches come back. We um, still have Eric Avalon in. Yo. Team throw once again. Gets the out on the left side. They're down to three. All right, there. Good wall ball from Ryan Pendleton. Yeah, Pendleton, is, I think, is just really just baiting UVA in this case. Like, essentially put himself out there on the front line just so they would throw out him. Mm -hmm. Team throws not going to connect. With that being said, though, his throw has improved tremendously. Because I know, because he's known more as a catcher than a thrower, but his, his throw has come a long way. He is, he's a, I think he's an all around guy. Um, I think he really is just, he's good at a lot of things. And he's just, he's uh, one of those guys who can move well, too. Very, very athletic, very, yeah. very shifty. Yeah, tough out. 
uh, can make the good throws. And it's just one of those, it's just a good dodgeball player. So you want to see, you want to see all around guys like that. And it might not be an overpowering arm, but good enough to make the ways throws, good enough to make the team throws, can catch, can do a lot. Yeah. And he's only a sophomore too, so. Two more years for this guy. Would not be surprised if he's going to be an overtime sixth player for JMU or, and or an all East Coast team in the near future. I'm just, just saying it now. Just saying it now. I agree. I mean, he could be overtime six this year. Um, That's, I, that, know, yes, that is, that is correct. The JMU's got their guys that they know uh, tournament to tournament who are probably going to be overtime six. But I think there are definitely s spots that are open to how you're playing the tournament. He's a guy that can work his way up to one of those spots. What, what about question? If he doesn't already actually have it. So, I mean, I don't know. If, they're, if they went to overtime in a game, I don't know what they would put out right now if they hadn't seen anything yet. I mean, and honestly, if you jam you, that's a great problem to have. Oh, yeah. Because that just shows, like, that that just shows you right there. Like, we're not top heavy. We, we go deep. You know, I know you guys, you know, you know, be saying, you know, go balls deep. But, like, the, the depth of JMU is something, it's, it's a force. And, you know, when you go into nationals, you got a two-day tournament, you know, the depth is really more times than not going to determine it's going to win a championship. So, it's good to see that JMU depth had just been getting better. Oh, oh got him. Lots of big throws. Great there. kill right there by Patrick Schwab. Got number 10 sleeping on the job. Zach Smith goes down. Now it's up to number 18. I would not be surprised if he gets one here. Come on. No, no kidding. Can not. Down three, one. My goodness. Making it look too easy now. And now the score is now three to three to one. And someone needs to stop the clock. clock not, clock's going everywhere. I don't know uh, what Maryland's doing. Um, I'm pretty sure they're in charge of this. And... <laughs> I'm not even like trying to roast them, but it, they aren't. If they're refing, they should be in charge of the scoreboard. Uh, you're not trying. The... You're not trying to roast them, but at the same time, you're roasting them. No, I don't think this is. I think if you're calling it for what it is, I don't think that's roasting anybody. I think if you're saying that you know Maryland has a team here and they have a head ref, assistant ref, and two shot clock guys, you would think that somebody would be able to. Click a button and stop a clock. No, nah, you're right. You're uh, right. But yet to figure that one out, they don't have that degree at Maryland, unfortunately. That, uh, that button clicking degree. Not offered yet. All right, 3 1 JMU, 19 19 left on the clock. Barring a big comeback from UVA. Say one more point, just about puts this away. Up the line. Eli with a big throw, big out. So, uh, Shadid, what do these uh, sound effects do? Those, do those go on the stream? They, they do, and that's another successful team throw, taking out number 69. Wait, AJ, LJ Jones. Mm. So the, the stream can hear that, but we can't hear that when I click those? I believe you're correct. Okay. I might have clicked three of them, so. Of course. Yeah, I wanted to see what they did, but I didn't hear anything. Oh, damn. Good. Yes. Yeah, he was, it he was, did. Uh, that guy. Uh, it did. Trent's looking at the UVA parents. <laughs> uh, 
That's funny. Hitting him with the come on, man. Oh, that's uh, that's brutal. It's it is very brutal. <laughs> that's right in their face. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, you you hate to see it, man. Oh, Ooh. man, catch that! I mean, it, it almost looks like uh, who is that? Who is that? The UVA. Well, until we figure that out, but it looks like he was setting up as a. Oh, that guy! No, that hit him. Got his leg. That hack got yeah, his leg. Yeah, it did. Uh, it looks like he was setting up as a catcher, and Joel just kind of threw it right in his gut. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a good strike in there. Jamie's gonna have to keep focused if they want to really just put this away here. Ooh, big catch right there by Patrick Schwab. Taking yeah. out and a big out. On the left side here, another team throw in this left lane. They're just one after another. Trent is really taking over this side. Long cross from Wyndham. Not going to connect. Eli by himself. Eli. Oh, man. I, that's, I mean, that's a yeah. not a great throw. No. But a great drop catch. It was. It was. Ball first. Ball first. Three. Uh, is, that, is that number 16, Arden Levin? I think I think you're right. Okay. Now Schaefer by himself. He he needs a little bit of support. He's gonna go. There we go. A little behind someone else's back throw. Not gonna connect. So what do you think of uh, the All Blacks for uh, JMU here? Clean. I think they look pretty good. Clean. It and it also. Oh yeah, they gotta do another. That will work. That will work. It's clean and it and it feeds into the narrative that the league is trying to put on JMU being the villains. So JMU's like, all right, cool. You know, since since y'all want us to be villains so bad, we'll, we'll go all black. Here we go. And put some purple. And everyone knows that purple is a royal color too, so. They're not villains, they're vigilantes. They're like Batman. Uh, this is their Batman outfit here. Right. Yeah, they, you know, uh, <laughs> they, they like going out and <laughs> At night and, and stopping bad guys. Yeah, pretty much, man. UBA is kind of like their sidekick, Robbins. <laughs> oh man, that's how they've treated them over the, the last like ten years. I mean, listen, that it's it's there's no nice way of saying it. It's it's been a one, it's been a one-sided rivalry. I do not think that got him. Uh, I don't think so either. I don't think they so. They could call him out, but yeah, I, I didn't think so. That's that's unfortunate. That is that is unfortunate. You hate to see it. Good wall ball throw. We're gonna get it back. I mean, just a what, a minute ago, Jamie didn't have a single ball, and they got they got four now, and they're on the front foot, and ball off the wall, and just like that, it's gonna even it up here. Ooh, I love the vision right there, my number fifteen. Right idea. Just needed just a little bit more time. For that ball just to kind of connect it. Just kind of just die down. But He's got some good crosses. He really do, man. He really do. God, beautiful. Out there, Sean waving bye-bye. Man, Sean has been. Is Sean a freshman? Uh, junior? Junior. Junior makes sense. It says senior on here, but I'm pretty sure he's here next year. So. Gotcha. My apologies, Sean. I was not familiar with your game. <laughs> That's on me, buddy. That's not on you. He's a, he's a good player. I, I mean, this is this is probably one of the better starts to a tournament I've seen for him. So I'd really like to see if they can get a guy like that. God. And there goes a cross connected right there by number 15, JMU, taking out number nine of UVA on that exchange. Full play slot for UVA. If, if they can get a guy like that, um, to elevate their game at this time of the year, that is how you find your way, find yourself deep day two nationals. Is having those kind of guys that are maybe not the most well known stepping up, and you'll see it all the time with these national forms. Yeah. I think that was another kill right there by Sean Trent when he was a sophomore. He had he had an all time national forms. He was really one of those guys that kind of stepped up for us up to get the final four. Yep, and. I I remember that now he's a household name. Yep. Because I definitely remember when y'all was playing against Cincy and you know, you and and Schaefer was put on a clinic. 
it, you know, folks like, well, okay, well, we know about Evan Esselberg, but who's this Trent Schaefer guy? And, and now everyone's like, oh, Trent Schaefer, we, we, we know him now, T.S. They, they, yeah, they know him as, they know him for Dodge Ball, but sometimes I wonder if they know him for a little more of what goes on behind the scenes. And uh, he's a, you know, he, he likes to get in people's heads on the internet, I mean, I mean, <laughs> on we, Discord and stuff. I, I, and, mean, I mean, when we did highlight the graphic overlay for the last tournament, you know, you know I think the quote from Helm is, you know, love to stir up the pot. So he's going to talk his trash, you know, more times than not, he's going to back it up. So, oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's not going to back down for anybody. You know, some people, they talk trash, but I, I promise you. Another. They, no, he should. No, he's safe. He's safe. Oh, that ball comes out. <laughs> but he almost got out. Yeah, you almost want to take your out there. <laughs> One's going to come in. <laughs> and I hit him. I got him. Yeah, that's crazy. Four one. That's crazy accuracy right there. Four one. This is, uh, this is what a jam you was planning to come out here and doing. And... I mean, don't look now, folks, but as we're saying 4-1, if the score becomes 5-1, we're going to have a running clock, which is crazy because earlier we were talking about how this game is going to be tight because the last time these two teams played, um, JMU only beat UVA 2-1, to one, but completely, completely different story. Like, it's the ECDC. Yeah, that 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 too, man. I mean, there's there's something there's something different, you know, when a championship is on the line, and you know, you talk about the inaugural one here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. I mean, it's it's a little bit different, and I, I mean, I also know it's also um, for a lot of these seniors, like their last home tournament too. So, um, JMU's trying to come out with a bank. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're getting the hostess. Uh, they don't have. They can sleep in their houses, sleep in their beds. It's a lot. I mean, I'm sure UVA can do the same thing. Actually, a lot of these schools can probably do the same. But they have to wake up a little bit earlier. Uh, about two hour ride for Maryland. Probably three something for yeah. Penn State, and then about an hour for UVA. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not. It's pretty pretty well located for everybody. Uh, but obviously, JMU. Yeah. Ten minute commute. Five minutes. So, maybe one. so Damn, you ready. hopefully you well ready. rested. <laughs> but I was going to say something earlier about Trent. Um, and, you know, his, you say he never backs down from everyone, anyone. He, he never does, right? And I'm going to say that it's, you know, it's a great thing. Don't back down from anyone. But sometimes uh, in close points, it can be something that can – can happen a little too much where you know I'm not going to back down and then you go and think all right let me let me nail this guy in the head and put it right in their gut that was just a, just, a, like, just like just that. Not, just like that catch, that was that was basically it and that's you, the thing though you like, basically call that yeah and so you know if, if he's got it going he's got it going yeah I mean you know I mean that's just a thing you know like that's another kill right there for Jamie uh, taking out number 10 from UVA I mean, that's, you know, that's the thing, you know, about, you know, the emotional play, you know, me being an emotional player in the past, you know, you run, you know, you running that high, you know, and those lows, you know, kind of hurts a lot too. But, you know, he, he understands his value to the team. And he understands that, you know, when he can control his emotions and put them in check and use them properly, it really does give GMU a different edge to them. That, that really does, you know, instill fear into their opponents. And not saying that JMU can't play, you know, with intensity when he's not on the court. Big as we just saw a hey, that big headshot. headshot. That, that, like, that's intensity right there with that headshot, taking out number one, Ben Wu, and he's checking on his glasses. I actually do not understand how these guys have been. I mean, I don't know how long he's been playing for. He says he's a freshman. I don't think he is. I feel like I've seen him around. He's a good player. But how these guys can wear glasses out there with these dodgeballs and knowing what it means to get hit in the head. And, I mean, you could – it could break your glasses so easily. Yes. And glass could be going in your eye. Uh, I, yes. It, it just seems dangerous to me it, to be wearing it, glasses out here. I'm, I'm not saying that it isn't because it is dangerous, but, you know, some of us, we don't like wearing contacts. Mm -hmm. um, glasses kind of like just easier just to you know, just kind of have. So, 
Oh, oh, did he? What a great wow. pass there. Wow. Oh, wow. uh, I mean, wow. It was pretty solid. I, I, I mean, it wasn't <laughs> it's just a ball. Kind of and that's over. a beautiful oh. kill right there. And there's bro. the throw from Pendleton. Pendleton, man. Jeez Louise. And, I think, and that was accurate, too. Like, my goodness. I think Joel gets one more throw here. He's going to probably try and throw his arm out and hit someone in the head to make a big point. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is. Oh, he wants to do it. He want, I think he wants to kill someone, but he, he wants to he want to make a statement. And then I think and I think he goes sit on the bench for the rest of the time. And a good cross there by Chi. He's gonna go out or he's gonna be a team catch. But that's a team catch. So he's still. I don't safe. even know if he knows. Yeah, <laughs> he just found yeah, out that he's, he hit. he's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These long throws. Oh, man. This uh, this middle this middle pack here for Jamie looking to catch those. Here it comes. Good team. Oh, throw. good catch. I mean, fourteen. He, he did his job, but you can sense the frustration. And oh, just immediately. It was even five seconds, and he. Man, you hate to see it, man. Yep. That's, oh, I want to see. I want to see this matchup. I want to see it. One play left to date. I want to see Cheech go for this here. Woo! Oh, ball coming over. We're going to team throw on the left. Paul, oh, he made the catch. And another catch is going to take out. Hey, I don't care what anyone says. Oh, my God. Hate it, hate it. That was you. Yo. Oh, man. There's no love loss here, man. No. There is no love loss here. I wanted to see Cheech. Cheech taking 1v1. It's not going to happen. Cheech is ready to go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 16v16 action here. Nick Fosford. No, no, no. 1v1. 1v1. Come on. 4 1. Don't be smart. Be, be dumb. Be dumb. That's what we're here for. Team throw is not going to connect. Does that mean we get another chance for another 16 on 16 action? Nick Fosford's guard 11. Maybe. I think that we need to. Oh. There's the catch. Good point there from Cheech. Cheech making it look too easy. And just like that, five one. Just keep make, it running. Make it five to one, and this game is over. This I mean, is, we're going to keep going, but the game is essentially we're just playing for fun are, now. Did you stop the clock? <laughs> Why? Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a it's <laughs> the one time you don't stop the clock. We, you, Maryland manages to stop the clock. We need to keep that clock running now, because. <laughs> That clock is still running on the stream. Oh, and the shirts are off for UVA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shirts are off. We they, are <laughs> they have seen enough. I think things are going to change now. The tides are turning. The shirts are coming off, man. They might start wearing them. <laughs> relax. Here we go. Come on. I, I, I'm feeling this is a UVA point right here. No, relax. This is a UVA point right here. Yeah, running clock, Connor. What are we doing? What are we doing, Connor? You, you know that. I, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, we might as well have just they, – they, Start it at the wrong times. They stop it at the wrong times. These guys just do not have a handle on the situation. The one thing they did do, though, they brought the cup. They brought the cup. So uh, we can give them that right now. Oh, my God. Uh, I, well, we won't give them the cup because, <laughs> I mean, honestly, there should be, like, if you're a team, a good team, and you go out and you win games, and you go and ref other games, and you're terrible at it, you should just, like, I think everything should be stripped from you for that season. No playoff eligibility. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be able to do anything. Because, oh, my God. You know, it's, 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 it's a bad look. It's not good for the other teams. No one wants to see that. It used to be JMU. And we've got We know how to run. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh just, just strip the ball. <laughs> takes it from him. <laughs> it's just me mugging away from him, too. That's crazy. That is crazy. So I will be interested to see this year at Nationals what region. I think obviously Ohio is uh, the big region with probably the most teams that have chances to go deep. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, Michigan State and Grand Valley. Yeah. I mean, who, who currently playing is right now at the gauntlet in Allendale, Michigan. Okay. Also, oh, big headshot. Jesus! <laughs> I, I think he needs Rex Pex. Oh, man. I, I actually think the Rex Pex are the better option if he's going to keep taking shots like that. Jesus, man. 
Woo's, Woo's brave, man. I'll give God, it to you. God, jeez. Oh, That's his third. Oh. That's, he's been hitting the head three times. Now. Oh, my God. He's been hitting the head three times now. This is crazy. You know, these guys probably all have like 4-0 four, four GPAs. Uh, after this game, you know, they might be dropping a few IQ points on these headshots. They might be dropping a few. They're not going to They're not gonna graduate magna cum laude anymore. That's, 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 I mean, they're, like their families are going to be so upset because they just ruined their entire academic career with dodgeball. That's, that's tough, dude. I'm sure one of these guys has got to be like an aerospace engineer. Or I think no, that's like, Brown. That's Brown. No. I give it to him. Oh, yeah, big, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Big, big catch. Big catch. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought it looked like a catch. I thought it was Brown. Well, you, know, I, you know, that was, that was good. Decent throw. I, I say throw it back at him. That's that's what we're doing. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what we're doing. Because, like I said before, this game is it basically is over. JMU is going to win. Big kill right there by, by Householder. Ooh, he almost caught him. White tried to get him from his knee. It just, just did not work. Are they going to call him out? There's no way. I don't think he's – I think White's safe on that one. I think he's out. I think he's out on that one. The one you had? Oof. A little crazy. No, I didn't see it. I saw yours, though. That was uh, – we got we got Nick Foss over here who made one of the craziest plays we've seen right. at the ECDC. I mean, with the long-lasting – the long history of ECDC, some great plays we've seen over the years, you know. Uh, that might top them all. Agree. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've ever seen anything like it here. ECDC is just different, you know. Gosh. All those prior year winners – do you remember when Maryland took it back in 2004? <laughs> so incredible. <laughs> so incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was the last time it was held. That's why they had the trophy still. Oh, my God. Oh, oh that's, yep. I, uh, Nick just gave me a good reminder while we have, I mean, I wouldn't say there's a lot to talk about here in this game. It looks pretty much over. So we're going to now plug the league again. Um, what was it? The NCAA DA um, SA. So it's the uh, National Collegiate Athletic Association of, of National Dodgeball Association of Saudi America. <laughs> this is not Saudi Arabia. We're doing Saudi America because, um, huh? The Prince of Guitar has just donated $2 million to our league. Let's so, go. Uh, another cross there from Cheech. And they're going to He's got another one. Back to back. Oh. And a, a little bit of uh, high cheese high for cheese right there. your company. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty big news. Um, so we're going to have a lot of NIL deals. Yes. Uh, Finally. Yep. And so we got the $2 million from the Saudi Prince. Or the Prince of Guitar. Um the Saudi Prince actually he gave five million. So right now the investments are definitely coming in. Uh, and you know, we're really just kinda waiting to see. We've had some interest from teams uh, that have talked to me about changing over leagues. Uh, so this is where the money's at, you know, and we're just not happy with the NCDA. And it's it's kind of the same as, you know, with Liv and PGA and PGA Tour. You know, we want the biggest reason we want to make this league is because we want to force accountability out of the NCDA, and we really want to see we want to see good, prospering dodgeball and have it expand. I think with our league and the NILs, we'll have. You know, it, it, we talked about Wisconsin earlier and how their dodgeball team, or lack of, you know, I, I'm they they've been talking to me. They're like, wow, you right, know, that's not going to work. We really want to start a dodgeball team. Can we join the NCAA? DA SA. And yeah, I mean, we're open to all teams, and I think that's kind of where the NCAA is kind of lacking. They really just are, aren't focused on recruiting uh, outside of the teams they already have. They just really like Michigan, Ohio. Uh, too much bias over there. They just want to stick with that. That's not good. good drop catch there from Ryan Townsend. So, you know, I think we could have, we're looking at 60, 70 teams uh, for college dodgeball. Uh, for our league, and so if the NCDA wants to come talk to us about maybe a merger in the future, got him. Got to put a big catch by 
Sean Kelly, and that's going to be 6-1, and I think they're going to be lining it up for high fives. Yeah, that's, that, that, that should do it. We, we, we have seen enough. Dominating fashion. We, we've seen enough. In enough. dominating fashion right there. Yeah. It's a good time game, too, so it's 10.50. A lot of the times these tournaments, like they plan for an hour. I, I don't know why. I mean, it's two 25 minute halves. So there's 50 minutes right there. Three to five minute halftime. Three to five minute halftime. So it's 55 minutes. And then we forget about the 30 minutes of refs screwing things up um, <laughs> when we're scheduling tournaments. You, so you, you're definitely going to be on the refs all day, man. Relax. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, they've been on me before, so I, I might as well hand it back out. But. All righty. Well. So who's up next, Maryland versus uh, Penn State? I think so. And if that's the case, let me go ahead and update the, um, the words from quality, the scoreboard, because I, I do not have the schedule on me. I have, I have everything <laughs> but the schedule. <laughs> but the schedule. It's got to be on one of these screens here. It's, it's, it's going to be coming up real soon. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to step away for a little bit. I'll be back. Um, I will probably be with you throughout the day, so. Sounds good, buddy. All right, you did. Yep. Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time. Huh? 